we have a really great video for you. We're going to cover everything you need to know about French drains for yards in this video. This is a French drain perimeter drain. It's along the property line. It's grabbing up all the surface water that's coming off of the neighboring properties as well as the property that we're contracted to protect and work for. Maybe this looks familiar to some of you. Look at the neighbor's yard. It's sloped towards the home that we're working for. All the roof water ends up in this green belt. All the patio sheet water that comes off the hardscape. Then we have the water for this yard and the rooftop water all ending up in this swale. We're going to tighten the swale up. We're going to dry it up. I'm going to show you how to build a really good French drain. I'm going to teach the homeowner how to hire a contractor and what questions to ask and what things to actually demand because as the customer, you have the right to do that. Make sure your contractor cores the storm drain. A lot of these guys just beat on these storm drain catch basins with a sludge hammer. They fracture it. There's stress cracks in it all over the place. They're just barbaric, but you want to use the proper tools. Now you see how that core of concrete is removed. This did not stress this storm drain catch basin. This infrastructure is going to last forever. It's going to stand the test of time because we didn't tax it by beating on it with a sledgehammer. So make sure your contractor is equipped to core and tap your storm drain. Look at how nice that is. Beautiful, beautiful. It goes through the re-rod. It goes through the concrete. Just like butter, when you're equipped with the right tools, it's not a problem. Now make sure you ask them to give you a sample of the fabric that they're going to use and a sample of the pipe that they're going to use because if they're using some cheap, thin fabric that you can see through and if they're not using a good perforated pipe with a lot of inlet, you're spending your hard-earned money on a system that never stood a chance. Now we tied in the two outside pipes. There's going to be a second pipe in this French drain. You only have to tie in the outside pipes. So I wanted to show the contractors that and any DIYer that's going to take on this project. Don't overthink it. You just tie in the outside pipe. There's going to be a second pipe that's put in. It don't need to be tied in because there's perforations in both pipes. Because the water can move freely through both pipes, it's going to be at the same level because water seeks level. Now make sure you do the side lot along with the back of the lot. It's really important. If you're going to do a perimeter drain, grab everything up in between the houses too. Don't let the water sit there in between the houses. It can't find its way out. It can't run through turf grass. Water needs a lot of slope to be able to move through turf grass. Now look at that double piped French drain. Homeowners, when you're hiring a contractor, you tell them you want a double piped French drain. And why do you want to say that? because it's going to hold them to a tolerance and you're going to get a really nice French drain. Now ask him what kind of couplers he uses. The couplers are the weakest link in any system. You want a strong coupler. This coupler here has eight barbs. This external coupler doesn't block the flow inside the pipe. Get a really strong external coupler. Make sure your contractor is not cutting corners and he's buying quality couplers. It's the weakest link in any drain system. Look at how much clay has been excavated out and hauled out in order to have a trench wide enough for a double pipe. If you have a trench this wide, you're reassured that you're going to get your money's worth in stone. If it was just a single pipe, it's such a narrow trench, it doesn't take much stone. Now this is inch and a half round rock, and you can see all the shadows in it. It has a lot of void. It's going to move a lot of air and water, and that's what you want. If you're dumping on the side of the house contractors, Stand up a turf mat and just let the rock slide into the trench. Work smarter, not harder. Go ahead and burrito wrap it. Always use double punch fabric. The water flows through it, filters out all the contaminants. If you have the dirt migrating into the voids of the stone, your French drain is going to work slower and slower each year till one year it will not work anymore. So you always want to use a good drainage fabric to separate the soil from your stone. Look at all that stone in this double piped French drain. Look at what a nice French drain that really makes. Now homeowners, keep in mind that your landscape is also causing part of your drainage problem. There was this privacy hedge and it was built up with decorative stone and shrubbery 
So none of the bulk water during a really hard downpour could really flow into that storm drain catch basin because that's how they're designed. The water's actually got to flow on the surface to make it in the top of that storm drain catch basin. So a lot of times our landscapes are not helping us out when it comes to drainage. They actually impede drainage. Now, homeowners, if you do not have a sprinkler system, you're going to want your contractor to leave the stone a little shallow and add a little extra dirt. Now, if you have a sprinkler system, you can do what we're doing here. You can just cut the sod out as thick as the machine will go and take as much dirt and root with it. And then with sprinkler systems, that'll work just fine. It'll grow great. But without a sprinkler system, you'd need extra dirt. And we usually mix topsoil with sand and we call it sandy loom. So it still drains really well. If you found any of this information helpful, give us a thumbs up. It supports the channel. If you have any questions about French drains, leave it in the comments section. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood. And until the next video.